Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below. Today is a special, special day because I'm filming with one of the new Revolution Crystal Aura collection. This is the Aventurine, Aventurine palette. They're all like crystal inspired if that makes sense. There's even like some sprays, lip oils, but I thought I'm gonna use the spray once for a video and then go back to the sprays that I always use so I didn't pick it up. Lip oils, I have hundreds, literally hundreds, I'm always finding them so I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna buy any more. But this palette is gorgeous and not only are we filming with this today and it's a green palette which I love but it is a collab with one of my closest friends here on YouTube and that's Lou Stevenson. Her video is going to be linked down below. We are both going to be doing a look with the green palette and we both love greens like you definitely need to go and check her out. I'm sure if you're following me you're probably already following her. I always mention her discount code in the in my videos for Revolution because if you use her code which is LUCE20 you get 20% off Revolution's website so I always say use her code and yeah she is amazing I've seen her look for the purple palette because there's two other palettes I am going to be reviewing those two but her purple look is stunning so you guys need to go and check out her videos on the she's already got the pink look up and I think the purple look up so yeah I think today's her last video for the green um, palette so you guys need to go and check it out but this is what the palette looks like it's absolutely stunning and I just can't wait to use it I do have kind of like one thing about this palette is I needed a deeper some more deeper tones in here. I feel like there's only a couple and there's loads and loads of like group golds over here. But let's do some swatches. See what these shimmers actually look like once they're on the skin. These colors are absolutely stunning. They are really nice. They're very pigmented. I love all these shades. I, I feel like, yeah, there is a good array of colors. Like, I thought there was like three golds looking at me, but there's a bronze, there's a khaki, there's a gold. They're all different. That is, oh my Lord, so nice. And you know what? There is a couple of deeper tones in there. And there's, oh my God, there's only six mattes. Wow. I can kind of see where I'm going with this so let's just get started. First shade I'm gonna go in with is Enthusiasm and we're just gonna run that through my crease. Next shade we're gonna go in with is Soothes. That's a nice deep forest type green. That shade's gone on quite well. I like to just throw them on quite qu quickly and then go back in and add more pigment. So the last brush I used was a Nancy last, no it wasn't, it was an MSQ brush. They're like from Amazon, you can get them for like 6 dollars Well, that's what I got them for from lockdown. And then this is Peaches and Cream PC10, one of my favorite blending brushes. I really hope I don't muck up this look because I love greens. Greens are amazing and also it's a collab with Luce. I love Luce. Luce is an amazing person. Her looks are so, so good too. And I don't want to mess up on a look that we both love green and I know she's going to smash this look out of the park. Right now I haven't seen what look she's done. I'm filming just a little bit before her. But I want us to both have really nice looks and I don't feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm mucking up. Like I'm just getting back into the mojo of filming again, which I say all the bloody time, don't I? I think I'm even sick of hearing it. Why do I feel like you can't see how deep this is compared to the last shade? Hmm. This is where we start making it a halo eye or a spotlight eye, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use this shade here called Harmony. I'm going to put that on the outer and inner corner. I just love how there's crystals imprinted in them. Okay. 
and then we'll pull it on the inner corner. Bring it up. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, add some more pigment, blend it out a bit more, sharpen up the edges, and then we'll come back and put shimmer on. I'm not feeling it right now. Okay, we need a lid spotlight shade, and I'm leaning towards gold. I love golds. Like this shade here, that shade's called Opportunity, which is this one here. The one next to it is Success, which is bronze. Mmm. I'm just going to go for bronze, and if I don't like it, gold can go over the top. Oh, let's do that. Let's put bronze down and then gold over the top. Ooh, yeah, I'm okay, I'm getting there. I just need to clean up these edges a little bit more. Let's do the spotlight eye and then let's clean up those edges. I think I've just gone way too far. High, just way high. Okay, I'm semi happy with this, I'm getting there. So let's put an inner corner and a brow bone highlight. I feel like I used that gold, but I used it as a topper. So we're gonna go back in with opportunity and use it in the inner corner and on me brow bone. Then do I use luck? Because it is a light gold. Let's use a luck. Oh, yeah. See, it's a lighter. I'm going to do it up here. Okay, I look complete. I'm going to go off, do the rest of my makeup and come back when we're talking about the final look. I definitely went too high with that green, but it's okay. Look is complete. I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with this look now. I wasn't too keen at first but I wish I didn't go too high with the green but it's okay we're there now I'm actually pretty happy with the look I put on my favorite duo at the moment NYX Honey Do Me Up which barely has anything in it really love super matte in the shade 8.5 which I think I'm at like halfway down don't know if you can see in there but I think I'm about halfway through this which I'm so happy there's quite a lot of 24 mils quite a lot of product in there uh, on my lips, I've got my favourite, favourite lip liner, which is the IRL Americano Brown. And then in the centre, I've got Rev Pro Cashmere. And then use my Reloaded Powder, of course. I got the Cherry and the Coconut Bronzer uh, Highlighter on. What did I use for bronzer? I've been loving this light contour kit and using the bronzer in there. It's stunning. So yeah, that is everything on my face. Now let's talk about the palette so as I said this is the crystal aura collection there was three collections within it so you had like a pink palette purple palette green palette and they all had a setting spray and a lip oil I believe that's everything I did not want a lip oil I did not want a setting spray I recently got a whole load of setting sprays and that will be a future video on where I got those from and um, it was an amazing opportunity but I got tons of setting sprays and yeah so I don't need any more and then also I bought all three of the palettes which <laughs> there's one palette I feel like I could live without and I could have just bought two I'm trying to make better makeup purchases and as I say that I've got four baskets or trays of makeup that I have ordered and yeah I need to really slow down guys I really do but hey ho let's talk about the palette this is what the inside looks like it's stunning it's gorgeous you've got an array of shimmers I feel like the shimmers are amazing in this palette can't fault them at all but i feel like it needed more mattes there's only what was it six mattes you've got this shade here this one this one this one this one and this one six shades you need a lot more than that um so I kind of felt a bit limited on what I was going to do. I did know I was going to go for a halo eye. Um, I just felt a little limited with the mattes. I really hoped that there was like, um, I don't know. I feel like you could either just do green or you could just do brown or you can mix. It kind of, I feel a little limited with the mattes in this palette. But 
as soon as I saw this green palette, I knew I had to have it. I love a good green palette. The packaging's blue, which is weird because I feel like it's a mainly green palette, but hey ho. Yeah, they blended out beautifully. The brown, well, this shade here, Harmony, which we used as the outer and inner corner, you can really do it as a pale brown or you can build it up. So it was a really nice shade to work with. I just feel like these two blended into each other, these two greens, they were very similar. Somehow created a very nice non-ombre effect. As you can see, they look very similar once they're blended out. So those are my final thoughts. You guys need to go and watch Lucy's video. It'll be linked down below. She is probably going to smash, not probably, she will smash her look. I cannot wait because her other looks were gorgeous. Um, go say hi and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.